Hello and welcome to this Accomplished Beginners Blender tutorial number 24. In this tutorial we'll continue to look at hair and in this case we'll look at the dynamics of hair and I said something in the previous tutorial that there's a problem and the problem is because there's no collision solver for hair in Blender 2.56 and forward. It's been disabled so we can't avoid the hairs penetrating through the mesh. So having said that we'll look at what it looks like here we have the same particle system with one difference. This hair, both have hair dynamics turned on. This hair has a stiffness of 0.5 and a mass of 0.3. And this hair has a stiffness of 0.3 and a mass of 0.5. So this is softer and heavier and this is stiffer and lighter. So if we just run these in the uh, player right here, You can see how these um, uh, how the hair moves, how this looks a little bit slushier. So this is something you can do. You can just run this. What will happen is when you when you first, if I stop this one here now, stop that one. I have to double click. Okay, and then I go back to the start. And then um, if I free all the bakes and I let's say I, I turn off the hair dynamics and then I'll press the play key, then it will just calculate this anew. And uh, this is just the, the hair without the dynamics. And now it's just stopped, so there's no, you know after effect or effect of the weight of the hair and the springiness of the hair. So let's just turn on the hair dynamics. I'll free all the bakes a couple of times, make sure we had everything. And then we'll run this and then the dynamics immediately starts to calculate what happens to the hair. And um, that's due to the movement of the head, of course, and the gravity that pulls on it. or gravity that pulls on it. And there, now it's gone to conclusion and then it can play out. So these are more or less exactly the same. I mean, th the only difference is that one is, is softer and heavier, the other one is um, lighter and springier. So let's look at what that looks rendered. And we can do this, and uh, let's just do the the stiffer one first. Just maximize that. And you can see when it starts out, it's like you're dropping it, and it falls down uh, because it starts out with it's you know as if there were no dynamics, and then you apply all the forces, and that's going to make it do this thing. So when you're animating something maybe you want to be able to um, you know let the initial you know slushing take place before the character gets into view because otherwise you get all these you know not motivated movements of the hair. And here, just look at this here, up here, and down here, when it stops, you can see that it looks very stiff and almost caked, as if it had no movement or elasticity whatsoever, no dynamics. And I think that's primarily because it's just pulled upon by these very light strands of hair, so it's not there's not enough to cause any movement. And here it's a little bit more movement. Uh, so I'll stop this one. So that was the, the one with the stiffer hair, and then we look at the one with the softer hair, and we maximize that. You can see up here, it looks it's all is moving. It's only down here at the, at the base of the skull, so to speak, that where you have very little movement in these coarser parts of, this, of the strands of, straw, of, of hair. 
And of course you can see how it's you know going through the mesh and that's just because there's no collision and I haven't, I've just researched that and found that there doesn't matter what I do. And, um, and by the way, it shouldn't be working because it's turned off. So we'll just have to wait for, for the Blender Foundation to release a, a version where the hair uh, you know, has the collision calculations built into it. And they might change the, the way it's, it's done altogether. So I might have to do some new tutorials after a while. Anyway, um, if you don't have these large arches over the eyes and you can kind of be smart about it and uh, you know plan your your uh, your figure your model so that maybe you can have dynamic hair that is not as big of a problem uh, and this is just uh, this is one way of course and this figure here has really short hair it's just like you know it, there's no dynamics to it by the way and it's just really short and that's it um, and here's another one that has no dynamics and um, instead um, what happens here is that the, the, the length of the hair is animated so it's kind of it's shrinking and then it grows back out so and here it looks pretty decent around the the eyebrows or whatever you want to call it it's a kind of it doesn't look like it's penetrating it's actually just laying on top so that's pretty that's okay okay that's that. So the hair dynamics is there's just a few parameters that you turn on the dynamics. And also one thing that I should not forget to mention is that like you have you have Newton physics on and the render has to be path. If you do none, it's not gonna render, right? And uh, none of the other ones. This it has to be path render. So that's important. Let's see what that. Um, so here's the gravity is on one. So so that's about it in terms of settings. Also something that you can keep tweaking forever, and uh, you you know you can change your the way the hair looks. Um, if we play this guy backwards a little bit, so there, and there, and uh, you know, if you want him to, maybe not have as much endpoint rough, then you can change that. So those are really accessible controls that you can change the appearance of the hair. But that's, you know, the static part and the dynamic, which is subject for this tutorial is this here, hair dynamics, turn it on, stiffness, mass. I haven't touched the spring or air or anything, so you can manipulate that as all, all you want, of course, as with everything else. And um, so I think uh, dynamic hair is pretty fun. It's, it's, it's uh, fun to play with, and uh, hopefully you, you will see a collision, uh, um, you know, collision handling soon enough so that the, the hair will not penetrate through the mesh and then we'll, we'll be able to make a very interesting hair on figures. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I thank you for listening and um, if you like, like and if you want to subscribe or favorite or whatever, uh, just feel free and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.